Hello friends, this is Patriot John Adams, also known as Trillion Dollar Silver, and today I'm going to tell you about how much silver has been consumed over the past 40 years during the electronic boom times. Hope you all enjoy the video. did some calculations to find out how much silver has been mined throughout human history and I did an upper limit and a lower limit by using the amount of gold that is left above ground since we know that gold was always about 10 to 100 times more expensive than silver most of the gold throughout history was saved while most silver was used up right now we believe that the above ground supply of gold is about 7 billion ounces so I used 7 billion for the lower limit and 8 billion for the upper limit. Obviously there was some gold that has been lost. I really don't think it was about a billion ounces. Like we were talking about in an earlier video, I believe that the silver to gold mining ratio is changing and that silver kind of floats above the other elements once it um, sets in the ground. So in the upper limit, I use a 16 to one ratio and in the lower limit, I used 10 to 1. But um, we kind of just came to a 10 to 1 ratio. And I believe that the ratio is going to start changing fairly quickly. And at some point soon, you will actually be digging up more gold than silver. So there's going to be a really big flip in the perception of gold and silver. But if we do an average of these two different numbers, we get approximately 100 billion ounces of silver has been mined in human history. Take that a bit farther, we know that there's only 1 billion ounces of silver left above ground, about. So, I mean, if we round that up to 1.5 billion to be conservative, that means that there's only 1.5% of the silver that has been mined throughout history available, like in stockpiles. So 98 to 99% of all silver that's been mined in human history has been used up. I do believe that 100 billion ounces is actually a bit low of a guesstimate. Um, if I had to guess exactly, I would say that we've dug up about 112 billion ounces or so. Obviously, that's a guess, but it's somewhere, you know, a little bit above 100 billion. So we can say with relative confidence that at least 100 billion ounces of silver has been consumed by the world during the Industrial and Electronics Revolution. And right now we're only left with in between 1 and 2 billion or so ounces of silver. This silver was once stockpiled in warehouses so much that it was seen as a nuisance. And the price of silver was reduced because these stockpiles were liquidated, 100 billion ounces worth. So when silver was $4, you were probably paying for just the silver to be shipped to the warehouse and the warehouse people to deal with your order and then ship the silver to you. Back in the time when silver was $4, gasoline was about a dollar or so. So, I mean, that's four, it costs four gallons of gas to get an ounce of silver. And now we're about at the same place, and that was when it jumped up. So, they're still liquidating the stockpiles, though. What's happening is we're kind of hitting a turning point where we're going to go from where silver is being um, suppressed to where silver could be forcibly, you know, raised. Basically, you have to understand that the copper lead zinc mines, they've had their accounting books manipulated to make it so that when they're picking up silver on the side of getting their lead and zinc, the accounting books just count them as picking up free silver. And this makes the silver mining cost manipulatedly low and makes it very hard for any other silver mines to compete. I'm sure that when the silver price jumps up to reasonable levels, there will be different um, silver available underground, you know. There'll be all types of mines that will be able to open up. But this can't happen until the price jumps. And you know, if the price jumps, then you're going to make a lot of money if you have silver. So it's pretty simple. You just need to invest in silver, physical silver. So while almost all the gold that's been mined throughout history has been saved up and stored away, about 98.5% of all the silver that's been mined has been thrown away slash used. So what does this all mean? The simple answer is that soon the SLV will die, and this is just a breakage of more of the promises. So they just promised a lot of investor people that they could give them silver in the future. That's what it's called, a silver future contract. But if there isn't very much of a future, then they don't have to worry about that. 
So at some point soon, the silver price will rise to astronomical highs. And yes, trillion dollar silver is possible and likely with the current mental state of the US. However, real value is what is important. But with silver in a worldwide shortage, after being used up to create phones and all the other electronics, the real value will rise as well. If you enjoyed this video, please share with any of your investor friends or any people who you hope to have a chance in the economic collapse. This is Patriot John Adams with Trillion Dollar Silver and TrillionDollarMedia.com. You can check out the new Android app for Trillion Dollar Media. And we also have a Trillion Dollar Silver Android app. Alright guys, so be sure to get your silver. This is Trillion Dollar Silver. See you next video.